Hi, I'm going to show you how to use some Python sentiment analysis in Power BI. I think this is a really great addition to use when you're analyzing your text data, tweets, comments, messages, calls, uh, anything that you can have a text output on. If you see on the screen there, I've taken some information and already run my sentiment analysis on it. This is kind of our end product. So let's take a look at the data set first. I just quickly threw together some eight different sentences varying positive to negative. Obviously, the first one is negative, uh, and then we can see some that are neutral, uh, like number six, and um, possibly number five is negative, and we know that number four is negative. So what our sentiment function is going to do is iterate over each one of these sentences and give us a polarity score. Our polarity score will go from negative one, which is, means extremely negative, to positive one, which means extremely positive. So before I set all this up in Power BI, I just want to walk you through the code which I've written and it's very simply simple. It's very few lines to get this code to work and uh, a separate IDE, which is an independent development environment. I use Spider. So let me show you what that looks like. So here's our code. Not many lines at all. So this is a great tool for you to utilize. So I've documented my code uh, with the hashtags here. So I'm going to load in our dependencies, which I need to import pandas, which will help me manipulate data. And then I'm using a package called NLTK. Uh, you, you may have to load this on your PC. If you're using uh, Anaconda, you can kind of Google how to do that. It's very easy. Or you can do a pip install. And I'll put a link uh, to how to install it also. And what I'm doing is from NLTK, I'm getting the sentiment intensity analyzer. And that's the function we're going to use to analyze our text. The next thing I'm going to do is load in our data set, and the data set is just a file that I just showed you with those six or seven sentences. I'm going to save my sentiment intensity analyzer function under a variable called SIA, which you know stands for sentiment intensity analyzer. And then I'm just going to apply that function on each one of our rows and then add it to a new column. So here I'm creating a new column calling polarity scores. We only have one column in our data set as you see, but I want to produce another one. And then what I'm going to do is on the data set message column, I'm going to apply a function that iterates over each one of these uh, scores and provides the score. And I want the compound score. And I'll run that for you and show you what it looks like. So first, let's load this in. I'm just going to run these cells. And you can see over on the left, we've run it and our package loaded. Then I'm going to load our data set. Going to run these cells. And then now you can see in my variable explorer, I have our data set there. And that's exactly what we saw in the Excel sheet. Now I'm going to load the sentiment intensity analyzer and then iterate over each one of our each one of our sentences. And that's going to give me uh, another column with the polarity scores from negative one to one. So now, as you can see, my data set has two columns and those seven statements. So if I click that, I, now I have polarity scores. And you can see all of those there. So you can see I hate hate your guts is a negative 0.57, which is obviously negative. I want to marry you, which is 0.67, which is positive. And then we have a negative one for our third and uh, completely neutral for Jim is, has non-existent credibility. So you can see that. That could be slightly negative, but you know, we're, we're using this as kind of a gauge. It's, it's not perfect, but it definitely helps us uh, get the job done. And then you can see the last one is also neutral. So what I want to do is I want to replicate this in Power BI. 
Now, let me open up Power BI. I want to open up a new notebook. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to load in your data. I'm going to get data, Excel, sentiment test, which is the name of my file. It's on sheet one and we can see it here is exactly what we want. But obviously I want to edit it because one, I want to transform it with the Python code by creating that new column. And also you can see there's an issue with, I need to upgrade the first column. The first uh, row in the column. So now that our query editor is open, I'm just going to take this one and use it as my header. Now that we have that, we can go to the transform section. And if I click run Python script, I want you to take a look at the hashtag. It said data set holds the input data for the script. So this is our data set, this table here. So if I go back over to my code, you can see that I've used, I needed to load the data set. Well, our data set's already there. So I'm gonna copy and paste that and just get rid of that one line. Copy, let's go back over to, and we can just copy over this. This is just a hashtag, just remember it's documentation. So remember, here's our code inside here. I don't need this because my data set has been loaded by Power BI. All right, and let me just get some spaces. And now we have all our code there. And once I hit OK, that's going to iterate over that. And we can see the steps over here. And then it gives us uh, a new table. And all we need to do is expand this table. Expand this table. Now you can see that I, I can expand my table. And you click here, and then you have the option to expand. And here's our new, um, our new column, and then uh, our original message. Now, in this check mark, you can get rid of the original prefix. I'm going to get rid of that. OK, so there we go. We have our message, and we have our polarity score. So now we have this, I definitely want to turn that into a decimal number. And then what I want to do is I want to add a conditional column. So maybe just give us positive and negative and neutral. Of course I can do this in Python, but I wanted to keep everything simple for us. Uh, and let's call this, we can call this, uh, let's call this sentiment. All right, and now we can say we want to measure polarity scores. I want anything less than zero to be negative. And then I want anything. Now I want anything less than 0.5 to be neutral. Remember, this is order operation, so it's going to read the code from the top to the bottom. So make sure you follow this. And then I'm going to say anything over 0.5, greater than 0.5, is positive. So let's see what our result is. So now you see that the negative, anything under point, uh, anything under zero is negative. As you see there, and anything less than 0.5, but greater than negative 1. And then we have our positive here, which is a 0.67. All right. Now, you can always add any more text or information to here, but let's visualize. So I'm going to close and apply this. And I'm going to replicate what I did in the original sheet. So now that I have my uh, message and I want my polarity scores and I want to make uh, just a quick table and do some conditional formatting on that. Now I have that and then I can make a quick score. So here's sentiment. Now I can make a quick pie chart using the uh, 
sentiment and I can add sentiment again and do a count and then turn that into a pie chart. I'm going to get some labels on this. Use all the labels. So then you have your sentiment analysis. And of course, you know, Power BI allows you to check the neutrals, check the positives. I hope that really helps you guys. I'm, I, I love this option in Power BI. Thank you.